Hey watch people, this is Hector with Winding Crowns and today we have a citizen uh, to take a quick look at on a review. It is the BN0190. Anyway guys, first roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. We're back guys, I am wearing the Borealis Neptuno Black Dial. Anyway guys, this is a watch we're taking a quick look at. You remember, like I said, I had the BN0191, which was blue. This is the BN0190. Anyway, you guys, it's a good looking watch. It is exactly like the other one, but this has a blacked out. Of course, this is running the Echo Drive. So everybody knows that Echo Drive is pretty much the number one solar. I know that Seiko make a solar, but it's not as popular. Except for that new Daytona looking uh, solar by Seiko that just came out. That one's, you know, making waves, but the I, I believe in that citizen make a better solar watch anyway guys it's a good looking watch just like the blue one but it's got a black bezel insert it's got silver on the printing you've got your an indice then at every 10 you have a number you have a triangle with a pip of loom in the middle you have the stick markers that have like a triangular points all the way around you have the bigger one at 12, then you have a slightly bigger one at 3, 6, and 9. They're full of loam, and it's BGW9, so it is blue. It's a really nice uh, black dial that's got like a circular pattern on it, and it has a very nice sheen to it. It does have like even deeper ridges in a circular pattern, kind of like a record on the outer part. You do have a inner chapter ring that has the little hash marks in every five increments is just a little thicker white hash mark. It is running your regular mineral crystals that they use, Citizen uses. Has a unidirectional bezel, 60 clicks, which is more than enough for me. I'm not a bezel snob. It does sound good and it does line up. It has plenty of grip on it because it is brushed on the gripping part of the bezel. So it is nice and grippy and easy to turn. I like the fact the Citizen most of the time uses vertical brushing on their cases, the up and down there. So you can see it's flawless. Same on this side, high polished crown with their logo you can see it the promaster logo you have real nice brushing on the top of lugs it does have a chamfered edge on the edges of the lugs they look very very nice you have a pretty clean uh plain case back with the etching of all the info that the other one had it's a Citizen Echo Drive, blah, 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 do not remove. It is 200 meter water resist, and we'll get to that. I like the fact that they do have the solid end links that do not move. They don't have any play in them. They don't jiggle, wiggle, or nothing. You have solid links and solid end links. Push pins for removing or adding links. And it's just a standard Citizen Class, which is no problem. It has a keeper that goes over, dual button to release, just your regular rolled metal, easy to look. You, you can listen, clicks really well, and then clicks again. Very, very nice. On the dial itself, you have just at 12 o'clock, you have the word citizen, followed by the 
ProMaster logo at six. Under that, you have EchoDrive, and under that, you have Diver 200 meter. This is going to be ISO certified, even with the new standards, because you still do have some kind of PIP or loom PIP at three. I know a lot of the Secos, like the Turtles and stuff, do not. <clears throat> they were ISO certified, but they've changed it since then. And now you must have some kind of loom at three o'clock. A lot of times there's no loom, like on the SKX and the Turtle, because the date window takes the place of the loom. And that used to be okay with ISO certification, but they've changed it now to where you have to have some loom. So as you can see, the three o'clock has loom. Good looking watch. 45 millimeter in diameter from the case from from here to here not including not including the crown guards that crown is recessed really nice in there just overall a great watch guys anyway you do have some real real nice loom let's check that out right quick let me cut the lights guys As you can see, you have BGW9 on all the indices, and the PIP was your standard greenish yellow separating the two different colors so you can make sure you don't get that mistaken. That way, if you are under the water or whatever, or in the dark, you can time your dive or anything else you're timing because that green PIP looks completely different than the rest of the blue loom. Anyway, it's a real nice watch, guys. Well, if you enjoy this type of content guys then please subscribe to the channel tell your friends about the channel hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next video and leave comments guys i appreciate you leaving comments i really enjoy hearing what you have to say about the citizen watches and any any other watch that i show on this channel thanks for being with me guys and remember never stop winding crowns